Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indie 500 project. Today's experiment, Dust, an Elysian Tale. Not tale with the A-L-E as in a story, but a tale as in a thing that follows you around and if it's a prehensile tale, you can grab stuff with it. It is developed by Humble Hearts and published by Microsoft Studios. Once again, one of those games that are like it's indie yet not indie it's 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 a tricky it's a tricky tricky subject sometimes anyways here's what the game has to say about itself immerse yourself in a gorgeous hand-painted world on a search for your true identity as the mysterious warrior dust your action-packed journey will take you from peaceful glades to snowy mountaintops and beyond at your disposal is the mythical blade of aram capable of turning its wielder into an unstoppable force of nature and the blade's diminutive guardian fidget battle oh the diminutive guardian fidget so that's a character battle dozen of enemies and once <laughs> does let's try that again shall we battle dozen of enemies at once with an easy to learn difficult to master combat system Take on a variety of quests from friendly villagers, discover ancient secrets and powerful upgrades hidden throughout the massive open world, and uncover the story of an ancient civilization on the brink of extinction as you fight to uncover your own past. Sounds very extravagant. This was uh, this was a Nintendo DS title, I think, or it's it's been released on several platforms before it was released on the PC, anyways. But, let's see what it has to offer. For auto-saving, yes, let's go with auto-saving. Yes, first slot, let's... Uh, let's go with normal just to see what this is all about, shall we? Yeah, a bunch of intro cinematics, and uh, now it's... Dust. 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 Arise. Apparently, I was a great warrior that slashed the mob. A talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Alrighty then. How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. All right. I have claimed the blade of Ara. Stop. I get a Navi, don't I? Stop right there. And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. No offense, but aren't you a bit well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. Let's skip this, shall we? Let's get to the actual gameplay. Yes. If you want the story, you can check it out by yourself by purchasing Dust, an Elysium Tale. What we're doing right now is just figuring out if this game controls in a favorable manner if it's fun and if it's I gotta say the animation is really good and tutorial simple enough oh I can do like an uppercut thing and in uh, pure <laughs> mysterious wall chicken yeah in pure Castlevania style, I can uh, eat this, uh, the chicken that is found in the walls. Hmm, hmm you say. Well, Fiddy will alert you when a treasure is nearby. Click. Alright, I'm using a 3 6 controller, just so you know. Is that the treasure? Or is... No, that's the destination. There's a treasure here somewhere. I'm thinking it's down here. But how do we get to it? 
Why, by taking the lower road? Of course. Nope. Apparently not. Gotta see the production value on this game is really nice. So I'm a little bit curious as to... Whoa. A dash acquire, left trigger and right trigger, or... Ah. Ah, so it's like a dodge thingy. Ah, oh, drop downs. We're good. Kinda wanted to go down here. Note added. Treasure. Welcome to your quest log. An ancient time, our greatest possession and staunchest allies were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to use the magical attuned key strewn, strewn around the world. I only hope there is enough time to free them all. Yes, we shall free all the keys. Oh. All right, we found a chest. Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era. And are well beyond my capabilities. Well, then you're not much of a sword, are you? Suppose we'll need a key then. <sighs> you remember how we read about becoming fidget? I'm pretty sure that we've got to become fidget and then we can go down there. Pretty sure. We'll see. All right, Bambi. Are there gonna be monsters soon, perhaps? Ah! And they're titled monsters as well. Nicely done. yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. No, no! Mash the buttons! <laughs> Mash the buttons! That's a bit of a fourth wall, isn't it? Let's skip this. Got some XP, got some feeble fruit. In case I need health, I got 55 out of 80. That's an RPG element. Save monuments, okay. Oh, teleport. Yeah, sure, let's save game. Autosave, uh, apparently autosave is autosaving and not a save slot. But let's keep going right here. That's a combo. Mash the button. Whoa, what happened there? I can't really see what's going on, but it's looking good. It's feeling good. This combat is quite nice, actually. I can tell you, though, for those of you that actually played uh, Muramasa, the Demon Blade for the Wii, I think it actually went on to PSN as well, but. This is feeling quite like it, where it's simple but effective. Nice to control. 
All right, new talent. Hold here, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the Dust Storm. Okay. I like it. Why? It did nothing. Hold the secondary attack to perform the Dust Storm. But beware. Skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. Oh? In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. That was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. Usually games don't really tell you about this, they just assume that you kind of figure out that the bigger the combo or bigger the hit chain, then the better your game is actually gonna be. This is some pretty fourth wall tearing down stuff right here. <laughs> However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Combo if breaker. this is all too much for you, you can... Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever... Whoa, since I... Can I please not use the dust storm? I wanted to do the regular... Hey! Uh, oh, now I ate something. Alright. Can I please not use dust storm? I wanted to do the regular combo thing. Apparently not. Something, right? Saving, all right. Save game, yeah, sure. Three percent complete. No, teleport. Right. World map. You can access the world map. Yeah, I take it the. If you unlock the world map, you can teleport to different areas. Ah! Hmm. Oh, it was a barrier that I couldn't pass until I got all the enemies. So it's kind of like a 2D Devil May Cry. I guess. Little bonus there, a little more killing here. From what I've heard, this is a Metroidvania, so we're gonna be walking 
back to the places we've been several times. I can gather stuff up. S gather stuff up with uh, the dust storm thingy. Hey, you just leveled up. Oh, really? Is that what I did? It feels good. As it should, dust. You've acquired a skill gem. I have acquired a skill gem. Oh, so that's the RPG aspect of it all. Or rather, character progression. This determines the potency of Fidget's Break Dust and the dust storm. Max health, attack. Well, let's go for attack so far. From 4 up to 10. That, actually, that is actually quite a boost. Yeah, I am becoming more powerful. Do I notice it anywhere? No. Still feels like all the enemies take just as many hits as they did before. Maybe they don't. But it doesn't feel like anything different. How am I supposed to kill everyone if all I do is push them away with the uh, storms and stuff? I need a double jump. I'm guessing you'll get a double jump somewhere. Oh, they respawn immediately. So if you ever want to farm something, uh, it's just leave the screen and get back in there. Yeah, a bunch of small things. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, chain broken. Hmm. Oh, we're right. We forgot to dodge and stuff. Wow. Wow. That's really Yeah. I was maybe hoping you could tell me. this um i gotta say that it's uh if any of you actually watch the ninja scrolls cartoon where it's all like ninja action and straw hats that come down way of way in front of the character's face stuff like that and just uh, big swords fights it feels kind of like that And so far, no real challenge, except for keeping my combos going, uh, having a broken chain of a time or two. Oh, keys. Do I have keys now? Treasure keys too. Let's go check out that treasure box we missed. Is it something down here that we could check out? No, let's let's go back up. Let's uh, find the treasure chest that we actually know where it is. If we can get back up there. Do 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 do. Walking back to the treasure chest. Gonna get me a little treasure box. All right, you're back. Here. here. We have a special on sword slices today. Here, have a free sample, sir. Okay, so when does a chain become impressive? Because right now we're at 50. And we leveled up. 
Defense. The best defense ability decreases damage taken from enemies and hazards. Fidget. Max health. Let's... Wow, that is a lot of boost. Let's go with that. Confirm. Yes. Exit. If this is the rate you uh, level up in, this story cannot be very long. No idea what that was. Something. And a little fruit. Oh no! You bastard, you broke my chain. And a bunch of coins. I take it you're gonna be shopping for, like, uh, not perhaps gems, but food to reclaim your health. Simple pendant blueprint. Oh, so, oh, you're gonna collect items to uh, build more items, like a crafting system. At least that's the way I understand it. I don't like you skipping my attacks. Warp pendant blueprint. I actually lost my uh, Bowie there. Since I got the dust storm, so one, two. Oh, no, I didn't. Just I'm clicking too much on the buttons. Mashing the buttons too, too much, apparently. Now I'm actually feeling a little difference with this upgraded attack. It's I actually feel more powerful. Whoa, what was that? I managed to grab something that I didn't manage to grab or something. Tasty cupcakes! And a little flask of some sort. Yeah, I take it a crafting system is uh, gonna be somewhat interesting. Since uh, I... I understand the way I understand it without having to having looked into it at all is that you can only wear a certain amount of items and you have to select which ones you want to wear. Uh, let's speed it along here. I'm out. Oh, oh, you're here. How very nice of you to join us. Please hand over any valuables and XP you might be carrying. <laughs> and a little auto aim. Never hurt anybody. Let's see here. I think the treasure was around here somewhere, wasn't it? No, not around there. Hmm. It's gotta be around here somewhere. You guys remember? Ah, right. Down here, right? There we go. Requires two to open. Input the button sequence before time run runs out to open this lock. Oh, so it's a mini game to it as well. Oh, that was simple enough. Revival stone and a bunch of other things. Feeble fruit. Health item. Let's go with the wall chickens. Or rather, let's go with the feeble fruit. Map. That's the quest. That's material screen. Yes. This is what we have. Box of nails, fabric, imp claw, bottle. I'm hoping that we're gonna use this stuff to build things later on. Lauta nut. Yeah. 
but yeah, I doubt we're gonna have enough time to get into the crafting system, so let's just run around Bambi here. Oh, your energy has been depleted. Keep an eye on a flaming white bar in the HUD. Perform melee combos to regain energy. Is that good enough for you? Now, can I use my dashing in a combo in some way? I can use it to dodge. That seems to be it. But yeah, this is Dust, an Elysian Tale. A, uh, from what I've heard, Metroidvania game in a very furry fashion. With a fox and a flying little fennec fox or something. And a talking sword. With a actually quite enjoyable combat system with simple combos that I, I'm sure will evolve new techniques and be able to do many more spectacular things with. And it sounds good. It looks amazingly great. The art design is really nice here. Oh, it's got a treasure chest somewhere around here. According to our little companion. Just gotta find it. There we go. A treasure key. I think that's it. So yeah, Dust and Elysian Tail. Until next time, happy gaming. How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise. And claim the blade of Ara. All right. I have claimed the blade of Ara. I get a Navi, don't I? Stop right there. And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. Battle dozens of enemies at once with an easy to learn, difficult to master combat system. Take on a variety of quests from friendly villagers, discover ancient secrets and powerful upgrades hidden throughout the massive open world, and uncover the story of an ancient civilization on the brink of extinction as you fight to uncover your own past. Sounds very extravagant. This was, uh, this was a Nintendo DS title, I think. Think, or it's it's been released on several platforms before it was released on the PC anyways but let's see what it has to offer for auto saving yes let's go with auto saving yes first slot let's uh, let's go with normal just to see what this is all about shall we yeah a bunch of intro cinematics and uh, now it's dust Dust. Dust. Arise. Apparently, I was a great warrior that slashed the mob. A talking sword. What are you? Only that which you have summoned. All righty then. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indie 500 Project. Today's experiment, Dust, an Elysian Tale. Not tale with uh, A-L-E as in a story, but a tale as in a thing that 
follows you around, and if it's a prehensile tail, you can grab stuff with it. It is developed by Humble Hearts and published by Microsoft Studios. Once again, one of those games that are like, it's indie yet not indie. It's it's, it's a tricky it's a tricky tricky subject sometimes. Anyways, here's what the game has to say about itself. Immerse yourself in a gorgeous hand-painted world on a search for your true identity. As the mysterious warrior Dust, your action-packed journey will take you from peaceful glades to snowy mountaintops and beyond. At your disposal is the mythical blade of Aram, capable of turning its wielder into an unstoppable force of nature and the blade's diminutive guardian. Fidget battle... Oh, the diminutive guardian Fidget. So that's a character. Battle dozen of enemies and once... <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? 